afternoon, guys. It all comes down to the latest case. Estep is accused of kidnapping and sexually assaulting a 15 year old girl. The 32 year old Mesa man reportedly took the girl from a light rail stop last month and brutally attacked her in his SUV. Tempe police raided his home the following night, taking him into custody. This is his mugshot here. Now, prior to this incident, Estep was accused of sexually assaulting at least four other women. Mesa police brought two separate cases against him to the county attorney's office, only to have them dropped. County attorney Rachel Mitchell said the cases were not strong enough and they were working with Mesa to get more evidence. Now, just today, within the last few hours, our investigator, Amy Cutler, asked her about that decision. There are going to be some in the community that feel like if your office had moved faster, maybe this 15 year old girl wouldn't have gone through the ordeal that she did. What's your response? To that? You know, my response is this. This is it is tragic what Mr. Estep did to this 15 year old girl. Again, charges are not evidence and people are presumed innocent until proven guilty. The ethics require me to say that, as I have said earlier, pro appropriately. But the bottom line is this, um, no, nothing can cause me to deviate from the ethical requirements and the legal requirements that I have the evidence up front before I file a case. Less than a week after Estep's latest arrest, the county attorney's office moved forward with those prior cases. He was indicted on 30 felony counts, including sexual assault, kidnapping, aggravated assault, and theft. Mitchell, again, today says she stands by her decision. She says it was new evidence, not the latest case that led them to move forward with these additional charges. He is due back in court tomorrow, and we certainly will be keeping track of that. Yetta? Whitney.